What's going on guys? We're back out in the shop today. Gonna put the transmission back together. I uh, was gonna do it yesterday, but as I mentioned in the last video, uh, I had to go get another bearing splitter because somebody never brought mine back. Got a Harbor Freight one, had to do a bunch of friggin' grinding on it and shit just to be able to use it, but it's, you know, that's what happens when you loan people your stuff. You end up with cheap stuff and somebody else keeps your quality tools, so uh, I don't do that anymore. Um, I spent all day yesterday because I couldn't do that taking the paint off the frame of the truck and of course got up this morning and it was fucking raining so um, it's always something anyway I'm going to show you some stuff about the transmission today I mentioned I was doing a bearing upgrade uh, so see the transmission here all still apart like it was um, I just got the bearing pressed off here now uh, this is something worth mentioning if you're pressing a bearing off of a shaft when you're using a bearing splitter you want to make sure that the bearing splitter is supported on the sides where the bolts are when you're doing the pressing, okay? Um, it's very tempting to support it on the ends because there's more surface area to put on a block or something there, but that's why you end up with bent bolts and distorted pullers is they're not properly supported that way. So uh, that's just something to note anyway. Um, so let's pull this off of here, pull the bearing off. I want to show you the difference in the bearings for the upgrade, okay? This is the factory bearing, and I'm probably not going to be able to read the number on this one either, just like the other one. Um, yeah, we're close. SKF. I don't know. 308 something. Looks like 308, 57, I don't know, I can't read it. It sucks. Ugh. Hold on. I'm not reusing this bearing, so I'm not worried about setting it in dirt and sand and stuff, so. Yeah, that didn't help. I still can't read it. Maybe a 3308-7N or something. Anyway, this is... The point is, the stock bearings suck. Um, there's not enough support in them. And uh, they end up getting slack in them pretty quick. And then you end up with leaks and uh, other issues. So, as you see, it is partially shielded. Okay? So, the orientation... Uh, is important to note. So uh, the shield was toward the gear on the input shaft. Okay, so we want to remember that. Now on the output shaft, I don't remember if that one was shielded or not. No, the output shaft was not shielded. Um, I would do the same thing on this one though. Um, but actually, I was I was thinking about putting the shield towards the outside of the transmission, but uh, I'm not even really sure it matters in this case. So <clears throat> let's see. Here's the upgrade bearing. The bearing is a BCA 1308 SL, and I don't want to knock that off. I haven't even opened it yet. BCA 1308 SL, and you see the difference is it's got more balls and when you're talking about load bearing stuff more balls is better um, it is also a partially shielded bearing so it's a direct replacement um, and it, it'll also be a direct replacement for the rear they're the same size bearing okay um, I'm not sure if you can get this without a shield I think both of these came with um, a shield so uh, and as I mentioned it comes with a new snap ring so you don't have to worry about damaging uh, your old one when you're pulling it all apart now I'm not gonna like show you me pressing that all back together because it takes two hands to keep everything aligned and do the press and I'm recording so can't do that um, the main thing is I, I just wanted to show you the difference there in uh, the meat of the bearing so um, yeah 
And these these bearings, like I said, they've only got like 30 some odd thousand miles on them, but ooh, listen to that. Yeah. And, and to really check a bearing, you have to put a radial load on it as in pushing sideways while you're rolling it. If you just spin it, it can sound gritty, but not necessarily be bad. So you put a load on it, then you can feel it. And that is actually really bad. So, um, yeah. Um, adios, junkos. So, hey, man, um, appreciate you watching. I, um, I don't think I'm going to make a video of actually throwing this whole thing back together. I may. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Depends on um, how many beers I have. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps you. If you got your transmission out and you're able to, definitely upgrade the bearings. Those were $24 a piece. I mean, and you can get them cheaper. I've seen them as low as 14 bucks. So um, like the video, share the video, comment, ask questions, dudes. You know, when you interact with me, it's, it's better than, than just... Um, when you watch because it it helps the facebook or not facebook but the the youtube algorithms um if there's more comments and likes and and everything the more stuff there is on these videos the more it helps get my videos out there and suggested videos for other people and so um you know even if you just tell me hey your video sucks man post it in the comments i don't care you're not going to hurt my feelings so um thanks for watching guys we'll see you later